since I moved to California. Who'd have thunk I needed to pop back down to Texas to find my perfect man? Hey guys, welcome back to Film Vert. Mary Padian is famous from her appearance on A&E's famous show Storage Wars, but stands out from the rest of her co-stars for her unique talent of turning worthless trash into precious pricey items, which has also awarded her with the stage name Junker. But now that the famous series is over, fans are curious what is the famous Storage Wars star up to now? But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Also, if you love the show, then go ahead and drop a like to this video. Well, now let's find out what happened in today's video. Number 4 Mary Padian started off her professional life as a freelance writer, but after discovering her real talent of making something out of nothing, she opened her small-scale business in Texas, which acquired most of its input from Mo Prigoff, who sold her items from storage lockers to be transformed into something useful of monetary value. This trade of hers really impressed everyone and led her to be featured in the Texas spin-off version of the show Storage Wars, which ran for three seasons from 2011 to 2014, and Padian appeared in 62 episodes after which it got cancelled due to the lack of buyers. Although it was pretty much over for the other cast members, the producers of Storage Wars California were prompt to recognize Mary and invited her to star in their show from season 5 onwards, for which she had to entirely shift her life to California from Texas. And even though Mary was not a regular on the series, she still managed to appear in many episodes up to season 12, which was released in 2019. Currently, there is no update regarding season 13 of the show, but if there is to be a next season, there is no second thought to whether Padian would be invited to feature in more episodes, as the producers and audience just loved and adored her for her raw talent. Number 3 even after her last appearance on The Storage Wars California, Mary has been really active on social media and posts a lot of pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Storage Wars, which makes fans hopeful that Mary's reality TV journey of treasure hunting has not ended yet, and there is more of her and her inventions to look forward to. Although Mary's onset life is on hold currently, she has become really good friends with her co-star Brandy Passant. After moving to California, and the duo keeps the fans updated about their on-screen lives on Instagram. While while back in Texas, Padian's former startup named Mary's Finds, which initially launched her into stardom, has unfortunately stopped functioning. But it seems like the former star is really keen about her passion, as her famous business has went online, operating as a website under the same brand name as her local startup, and it also sells goods featured on the show among her other products, making them available to fans all across the world and not just the people limited to Texas like before. Number 2 Although Padian's online business kept her pretty much caught up in her work during filming of the seasons, she decided in 2019, after ending the 12th season of the show, to go back to her roots in Texas where it all started, but this time with a different yet much more meaningful initiative of taking part in a non-profit charity called Ubuntu Life. Mary came up with the idea of designing bracelets, which are then handmade by the woman in Kenya, and all the money from the sales add up and go to the funds designated for a clinic that treats children with neurological problems. Her product, Joy Bracelets, not only helps to treat children, but also simultaneously provides long-term employment to the woman in dire need of jobs in Kenya. Number 1 with a full-blown career which revolves around exploring through garbage to find stuff that can be recycled, it is pretty impressive that Padian has established her name in the reality TV industry and earned herself a net worth of $600,000 as of the year 2020. The star made 450 grand from each season of Storage Wars, and even though Mary has not been seen on the screen for quite some time now, it's safe to say that she has won everyone's interest and has a loyal fan base, eager enough to make purchases of her vintage creations that are showcased every now and then on the website, which constitutes most of her earnings these days. And while the series obviously focuses more on Mary's professional journey, we also got to see a different side of her life in an episode called Mary's Big Score, where her boyfriend Dylan was seen escorting her to an auction in 2016. However, the 48-year-old Junkster has not updated fans regarding her current status of relationship. Various sources reveal that she is now single, as she is also seen on social media mostly posting pictures with her immediate family only. This brings us to the end of our video. Let us know which part you found the most interesting. For more interesting content, stay tuned to our channel.